the search for Arctic hare. We did as much walking as we did riding on this trip, glassing with binoculars, looking for track droppings in hopes of finding some Arctic hare. We found moose, more moose, and even a partridge, but no trace of Arctic hare today. Moose number three. Up here with Troy McDonnell. We're coming up for uh, a boil up. But our main purpose today is to see Arctic hare. And uh, I'll just do some slow pans here for you. These are the highest mountains in Newfoundland. Now it's been over 20 years since I've seen Arctic hare. And I'm getting conflicting stories. Some of the boys are saying you gotta get it right up on the top. Right up on the big plateaus. And then I hear other guys saying that no, you're gonna see them more out around the foothills here where there's still some trees. But this is a skidoo expedition here. We got the, we actually got, well that's called expedition, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we got the skidoo expedition <laughs> and the tundra. And so far, no Arctic hair. Not even one track. Yeah, Arctic but, hair are sparse. Yeah, they're very sparse. But if you look down here, I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to tell what makes a track on that, if anything. Right? What's our count on moose? Three. Three moose. We've seen the same two uh, a couple different times. That, that cow kept that calf running for a nice long ways. Yeah, one partridge. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, one partridge. And some other partridge sign and lots of moose sign. But we gotta be getting close to noon now. Well, I could tell by the sun, but I've got my helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe we should go pick our way down through there. Go up over here a little bit and look for a little bit more for some Arctic hare. We haven't found one yet, haven't found any tracks or droppings or nothing. Uh, but uh, the search is not over. We're still going to keep looking. There's so much land and territory up here. They could be anywhere up here. Charlie's going to attempt to get some water. If this all turns out good, you'll see it on the video. <laughs> Lucky we had this all on video. I hope it was on the screen. <laughs> we get, now we get water. <laughs> no, I still can't get it. Got a little bit. It's going to be a long process. Hope when I got you on the screen here, it's hard to tell if uh, where you are because, like you said, it's uh, very dark. Oh, that sounds like it wants to break some more. Come on, baby, go down. There we go. Now come on up. It's a big salmon. Yeah, that's how you end up in a hole. That's how a you machine. end up in the brook very right quick. Look at that. Geez, that's nice and thick there too, boy. Yeah, it is, yeah. Just got it in the right spot. Yeah. Screw 
coming down through there, he's getting wet. Yep. What a day. Yes, yeah, could be a could be a breeze of wind on and everything if there's not some. Yeah. What do we see? We seen three moose. Three moose, one partridge. I'll throw the wood over there. One partridge, yeah. Fair we're, amount of moose sign. Some more all, partridge sign. We're all over the Louise Hills looking for uh, Arctic hare. We never seen one. Or two or three. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the Earth's mantle got pushed up to the surface. And as you can see, we still haven't reached the highest point yet. But we are getting close. But it's that time of day where you gotta stop and have a boil up. I could keep going, but Troy was clean. Starved to death, eh? Why, jeez. I went away to a small truck stop. <laughs> the key to a quick boil up is good dry wood and a well stoked fire. I don't know what it is, but food always tastes better when cooked over an open fire and eaten in this wonderful Newfoundland outdoors. Jeez, we got a rolling boil already, Troy. Oh yes. Woo! God bless it. Hot. Get that up off the edge there. Well, we had more than enough wood then. I guess you should have enough wood when you are in the middle of the woods. So. <laughs> you know what I didn't take? Spoons. That's okay. I got spoons. I got four tea bags. I figured one uh, one cup of tea is not really enough. Oh, here you go, my buddy. Now, don't uh, don't tell my wife this is in the woods. Okay? No, no, that won't be on YouTube at all. Good, good. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. What's that? It doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh. Get that toasted up right nice now. Both bags here for the garbage and tea bags are in here with this. Okay. Piece of baloney, Charlie. Well, I'll throw a piece of bologna on there with my uh, my ham. <laughs> Why not? There you go. Well, you're a fine fella. Perfect. and bologna toasted sandwich with cheese. Oh. Oh, oh. Sounds rough. Jeez, did I take the cape in? I don't think I took the cape in. That's on the camera. Oh, that's shocking. Wasting a good fire without cape in. I pour that down on there and burn my hands. That's my first cup of tea at a gooseberry book. Is that right? Yep. Definitely mine because it's the first boil up I've had in here. Yep. We should have enough now to top her up again. Oh, that's so nice.
Oh. Utensils. Now it's time to test it. Hmm. That's some good. It's your second lunch. You only ate like an hour and a half ago. That's true. I was getting hungry uh, turning that dial on that uh, binoculars looking for the rabbit. <laughs> Still haven't found him, eh? Yep. No caribou up here today. Have you seen him up? Mm. Normally, more towards Fox Island side. She's boiling again, you know. God, that's hot, you know. <laughs> that metal, that metal over the fire, it's hot. <laughs> the metal on top of the fire, on top of the flames, burns. That's why we got snow. Yeah. We're just west of the uh, Bador. Was it the Bador Lakes? Ponds. Bedeck, sorry. Bedeck, okay. I thought you were just hamming it up there. No, no. I just screwing up, that's all. We went in and out across country. You'll see a little bit of that clip. Bit of moose sign this morning, eh? There was, yeah. Definitely. But we only saw a tree. This has got to be my favorite way to get into uh, to Louis Hills. Obviously, we're not going into Louis Hills right now. We're coming out. That's that's round pot over there. But taking the bogs, eh? Taking the taking this route. There's nothing but a great big span of bogs. If you follow those bogs, you get right up to the Louis Hills. Oh, that's perfect cup of tea, boss. No complaints. Good tea, boss. Yes, yeah, Low fat. Low fat, is it? Yep. Perfect. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they made jam jams low fat. <laughs> Take your choice. Oh, oh boy, I'll top that up. Nice thing about the boil up in the winter or you're not worried about fire, are you? Any more on top of yours? Well, no. they're worn out. Oh, okay. That water you had to go down the brook for. Yeah, geez, almost. I was getting ready to do a one and a half twist with a full gator. <laughs> another one? All included in the price? Oh, geez, I gotta have another one now. Thank you. I'm trying to cut down on my feed. My guide might be charging me at the end of the day. <laughs> not much of a guide. <laughs> Well, we're almost back. I'm hoping we're going to make it all the way back, too, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shouldn't be an issue. Sorry, DJ. I'm a little over on my kilometers. <laughs> Troy's fault, though. I said, Troy, I can't follow you up there. And he kept going. Then he, he was lost, so I had to go look for him. Then he kept going again. I'm only going right there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I bet you, as uh, well as over a thousand miles on it now, not kilometers, miles. And uh, I bet you, well over 900 of them is cross country. Yeah. All cross country. I'd say. I got a trail pass, but I don't use it very much. The room trail is great to get you from, you know point A to point B or someone's not familiar with an area and if that's what you want that's that's yeah. perfect too right but if you want to get out and explore off the trail is the way to go oh yeah voila well we're in here probably about 30 minutes now maybe longer from the time we stopped we didn't even hear another skidoo nope. we're out there on the groom trail there's one passing you every five minutes yeah. And not normally one, they're normally running in tree packs of tree and four and five. <laughs> the redneck crew here from uh, Stephenville. Found them up in the middle of the hills. 
Found that guy stuck in a hole earlier to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, the bog man. And that's what Scott looks like without his helmet. Hard looking, eh? <laughs> it is kind of hard looking there, Scott. Bye. Who's your buddy? Jason Bennett. Jason Bennett. How's it going? Greg the bog man getting ready to take a jump. These young men love playing up here in Louis Hills. This is a very popular destination for groups of snowmobilers who enjoy the trills of taking air. Here is a free ride, free falling. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, and please share to help others find my channel. It's not too much to have a good boil up. No, sir. Especially when you got the equipment. That grate is real catching out. It is.